subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand the need of prime implicant chart for minimization. In our previous classes, we have solved many examples on minimization by using K-maps. There we have solved the Boolean expressions by using two variable K map, three variable K map and four variable K maps. So in those, in order to have a quick rap, uh, recap of those. So if you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here because uh, uh, the way in which we have solved, we have minimized the Boolean expressions by using the K map is very much important to understand the concept that we are going to deal in this class or at least from this class. Okay. So uh, if you uh, and every video in our channel is going to be a part of entire course or a playlist, our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts and the link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Now, now uh, in order to understand, in order to have a quick recap of how we have minimized, how we have minimized the Boolean expression, we will try to solve this example. So uh, we will we'll solve it very fastly. So here uh, we are having the terms 1, 3, 5, 6, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So uh, just represent these terms onto the K-map. Our first step is represent these terms 1 3 5 6 7 okay uh, and uh, uh, this one this one will be there and this one is also there so uh, uh, so and we have to after i after identifying these terms onto the k map we have to find the subcubes the maximum possible subcubes to cover all the terms the objective of the k map is to cover all the terms if all the terms are covered, then we can minimize each and every subcube. Okay, so now we are going to cover all the terms in such a way so that we are going to get the maximum possible subcube. So this is the maximum sub possible subcube and this is another maximum possible subcube. How many subcubes did we got? We got three subcubes. By now, each and every subcube has to be minimized. How the minimization is done? Just e take each and every subcube in that identify the variables which are same for all the terms and uh, the different uh, the variables which are different has to be eliminated. So this uh, this the discussion we have solved lots of example on this uh, on these K maps. So uh, just to have uh, a quick recap we, are, uh, recap, we are trying to solve this. For example, if you take this subcube, this sub subcube, if you minimize it, the solution is going to be, so A, B are going to be different and only the term which is same is uh, D. It is D and if you take uh, this subcube, this subcube is going to be A and uh, this is uh, C. AC and if you consider this subcube, this subcube is going to produce an output of uh, okay. So uh, everything is different and uh, the same. Okay, so this one. So AB, AB. Okay, here it is A, and it is uh, okay. And for this, it is uh, AB. And if you take this one, it is A, B, sorry, it is B, it is uh, B, B and uh, this is uh, C. And if we take this, it is A, B, A, B. So, this is the final answer. The final answer is going to be D plus A, B plus B, C. Okay, so what, how many prime implicants are there? There are three prime implicants in this solution, in this K map, and how many essential prime implicants are there? So the essential prime implicants are, this is an essential prime implicate because it is covering some terms which are not covered by any other prime implicant. And this is also an essential prime implicant because this is covering this term 
this term is covered by this prime implicant which is not covered by any other prime implicant so is it is an essential prime implicant and if you take this prime implicant this is also an essential prime implicant because this is the term which is not covered by any other prime implicant so far the examples that we have seen all the prime implicants are essential prime implicants so the examples that we have covered so far in such a way that all the prime implicants are essential prime implicants see here so every prime implicant if that is the case if that is the case which means that if all the prime implicants are essential prime implicants then we are going to get unique minimal solution the solution that we are going to get is unique but there are some cases where we are going to get multiple minimal solutions there where we are going to get multiple minimal solutions so in order to solve those kind of uh, problems in order to solve those kind of boolean expressions there is a need for us to use prime implicant chart let's understand those problems let's understand those boolean expressions in the given examples for example if you take this example in this example how many prime implicants are there we have five prime implicants this is one this is two and this is third prime implicant and this is fourth prime implicant and this one in the center is the fifth prime implicant how many essential prime implicants are there so the essential prime implicants or this is an essential prime implicant this is an essential prime implicant this is an essential prime implicant and this is an essential prime implicant there are four essential prime implicants how many redundant prime implicants are there what is the definition of redundant prime implicant uh, in which a prime implicant in which each and every term is covered by essential prime implicant see here this is an redundant prime implicant why this is an redundant prime implicant is it is covering these four terms and all these four terms are covered by all these four terms are covered by some other essential prime implicants if that is the case such kind of prime implicants are called as redundant prime implicants so in the final solution in order to minimize this k map in order to get the minimal solution is there any need for us to use this redundant for us to minimize this redundant prime implicant there is no need so this point is very very important to understand in order to get the final minimal solution so what we have to do we have to minimize each and every prime implicant so far this is the knowledge that we have but in this case in this case is there any need to minimize this prime implicant this redundant prime implicant there is no need because because the terms which is covered by this uh, the terms which is covered by this prime implicant is already covered by some essential prime implicants essential it is it is mandatory for us to minimize the essential prime implicants because they are covering some terms which are not covered by any prime implicant in order to get the minimal solution we should definitely cover essential prime implicant we should definitely minimize essential prime implicants in the process of minimizing essential prime implicants in this example in the process of minimizing essential prime implicants all the terms which are covered by this prime implicant is already covered if it is already covered if all the terms which is covered by prime implicant is already covered what is the need to minimize this solution if you minimize this solution that is going to create an extra term which is not going to produce the minimum solution are you able to get the point okay so this point is very very important to understand so a uh, minimal solution we are not going to get in some of the cases if uh, uh, the prime implicant is getting 
uh, uh, minimized so this is such kind of case where we are going to eliminate this redundant prime implicant this example is fine we can just by seeing it we can say that there is a redundant prime implicant and this redundant prime in implicant can be eliminated but there are some kind of examples where we cannot make the decision which one has to be chosen which one has to be eliminated so let's go to this example so in this example how many prime implicants are there one two three four five six there are six prime implicants are there how many essential prime implicants are there so the essential prime implicant is uh, this one is an essential prime implicant and this one is an essential prime implicant because these are the these are the only prime implicants which are covering the terms which are not covered by any other prime implicant so these uh, minimizing these two prime implicants is mandatory is essential are you able to get the point because without minimizing these two we are not going to get the minimum solution because these are the prime implicants which are covering some terms which are not covered by any other prime implicants i am stressing these words again and again in order to uh, make marks of these concepts on your mind okay now now there are some how many how many redundant prime implicants are there there are no redundant prime implicants okay so you may be under the assumption that this is a redundant prime implicant and this is a redundant prime implicant it is not redundant prime implicant because the definition of the redundant prime implicant states that each term each term of the prime implicant should be covered by essential prime implicant so for example if you take uh, if you take this prime implicant this prime implicant is covering this term and this term but this term this is the only term which is covered by essential prime implicant but this term is covered by some uh, this time this this uh, term is covered by an implicant which is not essential see here this term is covered by this implicant it is not an essential prime implicant are you able to get the point so this is not a redundant prime implicant or this is not a redundant prime implicant these are just prime implicants okay so now using this redundant using this essential prime implicants using this essential prime implicants how many terms are covered so the terms which are covered by this essential prime implicants is this one this one this one and this one and what are the what are the terms which needs to be covered the terms which needs to be covered is this one this one and this one okay in order to cover these three terms how many prime implicants are there this is the one prime implicant this is second prime implicant and this is another prime implicant and this is another prime implicant in order to cover these term these three terms we have to minimize four main terms four uh, prime implicants with that we are we are not going to get minimal solution but if you if you if you are able to identify the prime implicants in order to get the minimal solution so for example so in order to cover these terms we can choose these two as the minimal solution and similarly we can also choose some other options where we can get minimal solution okay so in order to identify which one has to be chosen in order to identify which one has to be chosen for minimization uh, uh, for, from these four options in order to identify which one has to be chosen in order to get the minimal solution in order to get the minimal solution so that identification is possible by using prime implicant chart so in order to get minimal solutions so in order to get minimal solution which implicants are to be chosen so that decision can be made by using prime implicant chart by just seeing it we cannot get the right answer you may get confused by this process by just seeing it you cannot decide the solution 
okay multiple minimal solutions are possible and that decision cannot be made by just seeing the k-map in order to avoid that confusion there is a method called mini uh, uh, prime implicant chart method so how to identify the solutions that we will try to understand in our next video right now we are trying to understand that in order to minimize the k-maps there is a need of prime implicant chart so these are the examples which proves that there is a need of prime implicant chart i am stressing these points again and again because these points are very very important to understand that's why i am stressing these points hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding these concepts please post your doubts in the comment section below thanks for watching